In the first reading today, we hear about basically the end of the northern kingdom of Israel. The, uh, you remember, we went over this, I don't know how many weeks ago, but uh, after Solomon, the kingdom which David had uh, all together, uh, all 12 tribes now was split. And so only Judah and the southern tribes were together under the kings and then they had all these other kings that came and went and Elijah and Elisha were going against and uh, throughout and now because they've been uh, they've been uh, doing this evil and worshiping these false gods for so long God said okay you shall no longer be a nation the northern king of Israel and um, so Shalomit, Shalmanasar uh, the king of Assyria comes in with his armies and he takes the leaders out and then he imports uh, people from other nations into this northern area in Samaria and with that what's going on is that then these people because they're in hostile territory because the natives there don't particularly care for these people who are being imported they have to rely on Assyria uh, in order to be able to be protected and all this and so there's all uh, there's this struggle now between them over the course of generations they intermingle and marry and so when it, the time of Jesus comes the people of the southern kingdom, the Jews, they look at the people of Samaria as, well, they're not really part of our ancestry because they broke and they intermingled with the other nations and they worship all these other gods. With this, we see that, number one, our, our choices of what we worship makes a huge difference for ourselves and for the world. The people of Israel, the northern kingdom, the people of Samaria, they worshipped not the Lord our God, but all these other gods, which, as it doesn't say in the reading today, but it, they kind of skipped over a few parts, where it talks about how they put their children through fire, that they, they worshipped these gods which required human sacrifice not good because these gods are not gods at all they are demons and they allowed that to enter into the people of God God says this cannot remain this cannot remain and he sent prophet after prophet after prophet we just heard the whole Elijah cycle um, I think it was last week or the week before where we hear about how God keeps sending people and saying Cut it out! But they don't listen. And we can look back, you know. Hindsight is twenty twenty, right? Yep. That was foolish of them. And yet, for our own lives, how often do we make so many of these other things God in our life? That we look away from the Lord for our comfort, for our consolation. We turn our eyes to things of this world. And I've said this before, but you know, things like yoga and other Eastern spiritualities, which invite in evil spirits into our hearts, into our souls. And we're, we take our eyes off of Jesus, who is the one who can comfort, whether it be Reiki or any of those other things. We look for comfort and consolation and spiritual growth from something that is not God. And while it might give us comfort for a moment, it ultimately brings ruin to our lives. So that's one side of the coin. The other side of the coin is we see that there's a call and a need for reparation, not just for my sins or your sins, because, of course, that would be enough because we're all big enough sinners as it is. But we need to make reparation also for our country, for the world, for the things that are not our sins particularly, but for the sins of our people. In order that what happened to the northern tribe doesn't happen to us, that we can still be protected under God's mighty hand instead of running away from his hand 
and His love. And so that's why, for instance, I see as the Divine Mercy Chaplet is so important. Have mercy on us and on the whole world as we offer to God the Father not our little sacrifice, which, although we do that as well, but the sacrifice of Jesus for the sake of His sorrowful passion. The only sacrifice that really can sustain and fulfill and, and make up for what we have done to Almighty God. For the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. May we this day turn our hearts back to the Lord and make reparation for our sins and the sins of all the world. <laughs>